Hi, my name's Logan and I go to St Margaret's Church in Aspley and today I'm going to be taking your woven daily devotional. So currently we're in the book of Acts, we're in chapter 8 and I'm going to be reading through verses 26 to 31. Read along with me if you like. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, go south to the road, the desert road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out and on his way he met an Ethiopian eunuch, an important official in charge of all the treasury in Kande, which means Queen of Ethiopians. This man had gone to Jerusalem to worship, and on his way home he was sitting in his chariot reading the book of Isaiah, the prophet. The spirit told Philip, go to that chariot and stay near it. Then Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading Isaiah the prophet. Do you understand what you're reading? Philip asked. How can I, he said, unless someone explains it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. When I read this Bible verse for the first time, what really came to mind was that you need another person or a couple of other people to try and help you understand the Bible. This guy was just reading the, the book of Isaiah and he couldn't, he couldn't understand what was going on because there was no one else around him to support him and to allow him to understand this. So what's trying to be said is, in this verse, is that you should really read the Bible with other people, invite, talk about the Bible, read the verses together, and then talk about what you each other got from the verse. Because some people might get different versions, they might get different thoughts and things like that. Obviously with the situation right now, it's not gonna be as easy to join up with your friends from church and things like that to go over Bible verses but you can still do it over Zoom or over FaceTime or things like that. So it, it, what I really really strongly got from this was you need other people around you to help you understand with God's Word. So another thing I got from this Bible verse is that you should always pray before you read a verse to, to just ask for the Holy Spirit to come down and to allow you to understand the verse because sometimes it can be a bit hard to understand and with the Holy Spirit trying to help you you can explain God's words and it might be a lot easier just to understand the words we do this in Bible study on Sundays obviously within the circumstances we can't meet up anymore but we do do it on zoom on Sundays after Sunday afternoons and we pray before we start just to ask that the Lord will allow us to understand what he's talking about in whatever verse we're, we're reading and we sometimes don't just read the verse we have conversations about it and then we sometimes watch videos and we have little cards that explain people and the stories in the Bible so this is another thing that I got from this thanks for joining me today in today's woven daily devotional if you go to st margaret's i hope to see you soon and if you go to any of the churches across woven i wish you well and i wish your families well also thank you